What's up guys? I'm Jim Ansel, this is Real Deal Outdoors, and I just got this month's Mystery Tackle Box. All right, guys, so before we rip into this thing this month, I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. So listen up, guys. If you're interested in trying out Mystery Tackle Box for yourself, I can help you guys out with that. There's a code down in the description. Take that code, plug it in at checkout over at the Mystery Tackle Box website, and if it's your first box, you're going to get a discount. You know, I always recommend Mystery Tackle Box to people, especially if you're a new fisherman. This thing's going to force you guys to step outside of the box. It's going to get you to step outside your comfort zone. You know, if you're a new fisherman, it's going to help you build up your tackle box. It's also going to introduce you to new techniques and to new baits that you're not used to. So it's a great way for you guys to grow as anglers. Plus, it's awesome getting a box full of tackle every month. I love it. I look forward to getting it. It's just a great box. All right, guys, so what we're looking at here is the Pro Bass Box for the month of August 2020. Let's tear into this thing. We'll see what Bates Mystery Tackle Box sent for us this month, and we'll go over everything in there. All right, guys, so let's check this box out. We'll see what Mystery Tackle Box has sent for us this month. All right, guys, so the first stuff that we get to in this box, just like always, is our paperwork. And we've got several different things going on in this month's box. Okay, so we've got a dibble. Dibble is something that you get every month. Uh, it's full of tips and tricks and stuff like that. And it's also box specific. So depending on what box you get, if you get a catfish box or panfish box, saltwater box, you're going to get a dibble that goes along with, uh, with that specific species and that technique. So very cool. I, I always recommend people check this thing out. All right, next up we've got our bait card. And of course the bait card tells you what baits that you've got in the box. It also gives you a rundown of how much each one of those baits is worth over here on the right hand side. Uh, this thing is great for you guys. Uh, if, if you're looking to see how much you've got as far as worth goes in the box, this will give you a good idea about that. Also, if you go down here, there's a link. And online they've got a page that tells you about the baits that are in the box. And uh, I know a little more about this because just recently I've started filming videos for Mystery Tackle Box about the individual baits in these boxes. So if you go to this link, you're going to find individual videos for each one of these baits on that page, which is really cool. Uh, it gives you a little more of a rundown of how to use each bait and what it's good for and stuff like that. So definitely go check that out. And guys, this is another thing that Mystery Tackle Box does every month. There's always a sticker in the box. Uh, this month is really cool. It's a Catch Coast sticker. Uh, red, white, and blue. Love it. It's going to go on a tackle box. It's going to go on my car. It's going to go somewhere. Uh, but they send a sticker out in every box. It's always unique, and uh, I love getting those stickers. In this month's box, we've got what's called an MTB Hat Guy Monthly Spotlight, and it's talking about our Biospawn Exopod. So that tells me right there that we got some Exopods in this box. Biospawn guys, they make fantastic lures. Can't go wrong with Biospawn soft plastics, guys. They they just plain work. And what you're gonna find on this card are some tips and stuff like that. And then on the back side, you've got a map. And on this map, it's gonna tell you where you can fish this thing. It's also gonna tell you how to rig it to fish it in that particular area. And this is something really cool that uh, my Mystery Tackle Box has been doing recently. Uh, I love these little maps. It, it's really great for new guys. If, if you've never bass fished before and you don't know exactly what you're doing, this is going to help you out tremendously. All right, guys, now this is something totally new. It looks like this month they've included like a mini magazine or a pamphlet on junk fishing. Let's see what we've got going on in here. All right, junk fishing is catching fish on a variety of lures without falling into a set pattern. Okay, so it tells you what junk fishing is, uh, gives you some tips and tricks, it looks like. Yeah, it goes into different tactics, shows you some lures that you can use. And then once again, we've got the map back here where it's going to show you what lures to use and what types of areas. Uh, really cool guys if, if you're a new guy to bass fishing like I said this is going to help you guys out in a big big way so definitely don't don't just throw this stuff away you're going to want to read this very cool that's something that's something totally different that they've done this month I, I haven't seen anything like this so far all right guys so that's it for the paperwork in this box uh, let's dive right in here and see what kind of lures they sent for us this month. All right, the first thing that we're going to come to here is a Loco 10. This is a crankbait from Castaic Lures. Uh, there's a little bit of info in the corner up here. It says it's a 3.5 inch crankbait. It weighs in at a half an ounce and it dives 5 to 10 feet. So this is kind of a medium to deep diving crankbait. It's got a big long lip on it. You know, the paint scheme is a real nice shad pattern. Let's see if there's anything on the back that tells us a little more about this lure. Uh, these baits are designed for running through cover, ripping through grass, bouncing off of rocks, and just burning in open water. It features a fast wobbling action, great sound for generating big reaction strikes. So yeah, it's pretty standard for a crankbait, guys. Uh, that's exactly what you'd expect a crankbait to do. Uh, it says the color here is chartreuse shad. 
So a nice solid crankbait, y'all. You know, if you're fishing in moderately deep to deep water, this is gonna be great for you guys. Uh, like I said, most of the waters that I fish in around here are fairly shallow. Um, I've got some deeper holes, but that's all they are, just little holes. And uh, fish do seem to congregate in those holes, but it's it's not an area where I would, I would do a whole lot of work with a, a deep diving crank. But no doubt, eventually this thing is gonna come in handy. It's gonna go in the tackle box with the rest of my cranks and uh, when it's time to be used, it'll be used. All right, the next thing I see in here is another crankbait. And this is from a company that I've got a little more experience with. This is a Lunker Hunt Lure. It says this is a Shock 2.5F and it's from their Impact series. All right, so this is gonna be a shallow dive and crankbait. Uh, I, I expect that 2.5F means it dives 2.5 feet. So that's, that's a little more in my wheelhouse. And it's not a bad looking crankbait at all. I love this color. Uh, it's it's got kind of a bronze color to it very nice looking and let's see what we've got on the back all right it says it's floating it says it has a wide wobble it's three eighths of an ounce two inches long and of course dives 2.5 feet we were right about that so and the color down here says it's mandarin yeah i really like this color i think that bad boy is going to work really well out here so lunker hunt they're a good solid bait maker um i've got a lot of lures from them especially a lot of their their soft body top water lures frogs and spiders and all kinds of stuff like that you know they're really good at making lures that are kind of outside the box and i love that kind of stuff now i will say that i've had some problems with some of their hard lures in the past um, but not crankbaits it was uh, top water poppers and they just didn't want to work for me they just didn't have a whole lot of pop to them um, but that's the only problem with Lunker Hunt that I've ever run into over the years. And I've used a lot, a lot, a lot of their lures. So uh, this guy right here, I think is going to be fantastic. Uh, it looks great. And I can see just from peeking in the packaging here, you've got the depth right on the underbelly of the lure. So that's going to come in handy. Um, you know, a lot of times you can look at a lure and, and by the size of the lip and the angle that the lip is at, you can tell about how deep the thing is going to dive but I do like having that on the belly so there's no guesswork involved. You can just grab it and you know exactly how deep it's gonna dive right out of the box. So very cool, very cool looking lure from Lunker Hunt. All right guys, the next thing we've got here is from Savage Gear and this looks an awful lot like a Whopper Plopper. Uh, this is called the Smashtail Minnow 100 and it, that's exactly what it, it it's It's like a Whopper Plopper imitation. It doesn't look bad at all. Whopper ploppers work fantastic around here, so I, I think this is probably gonna work just as well. I'll see if there's any info on the back side of this thing. All right, not really. Uh, there's a little bit of info on the sticker here. It's three and three quarters inches long. It's a half ounce and the color is midnight. So there you guys go. Uh, Savage Gear, I've gotten a lot of stuff from them over the last year or so. They're another one of the lure companies that really likes to think outside the box. They've got some oddities and their lure lineup guys. They, they make the top water bats and some ducks and some snakes. Uh, they just got a little bit of everything in their lineup. And oftentimes it's fun just to buy those lures and take them out and see if, if they actually catch anything. Great for doing fishing challenges and stuff like that. But this is definitely gonna work. You know, whopper ploppers, especially during that fall transition, are fantastic lures to use around here. And this thing right here is gonna get bit for sure and it's just the right color. I love using darker colors because the water out here is just chocolate milk half of the time. So this is gonna work really well. Well, this is something that I didn't even know existed. Cream lures, a cream spinnerbait. All right, I, I honestly didn't know cream lures made anything other than soft plastics because that's all I've ever seen in the bait shops around here. Cream lures, to me, they, they make a lot of those trick worm style worms that are pre-rigged. Uh, they look like real earthworms. They're pretty cool looking lures. And I've seen some more of their soft plastics, but that's that's it. I, I had no idea they made spinnerbaits. Uh, this is a pretty good looking spinnerbait. It looks like a white chartreuse spinnerbait. There's a little bit of red on the belly there. Uh, and it's got a nice red eye. And look at that willow leaf blade, man. That thing is huge. It's got a really big willow leaf blade. And uh, that thing is gonna move a lot of water. It's gonna make a lot of vibration it's gonna reflect a lot of light. And those dimples, they're they're gonna add a lot to this lure. They're gonna to add to the vibration. They're gonna to add to the uh, light reflection. So very, very cool. Guys, there's not a whole lot to say about a, a spinnerbait like this. It's 
it's a spinner bait. It looks like it's going to be a solid fish catching spinner bait, just like any other spinner bait that uh, that you would buy. I know some of you guys will cringe by me saying that, but it's it's true. I mean, for the most part, as in my experience, a spinner bait's a spinner bait. They all work about the same, you know, with some minor exception. I mean, if you've got different blade combinations and stuff like that, of course they can they can create different actions and uh, and move water a little bit differently. But for the most part, they all perform exactly the same unless the uh, the barrel swivel up here is gummed up somehow. But this looks like it's gonna catch fish and you couldn't ask for anything more from a fishing lure. That's what it's meant to do. So this will go in the spinnerbait box and we'll use that when the time comes. All right, this right here is a lure that I, I was looking forward to for a long time. I already ordered a ton of these. I think I bought like 19 boxes of these things or 19 packages of these. Uh, when they first came out because I I love biospawn lures and I try to keep as many of them on hand as possible because I, I go through a lot. But these are exopods and they're kind of like a twin tail grub. It's a little bit like a cross between the vile bug and the exo stick. So you've got an exo stick body style right here and then you've got the uh, the clawed appendages kind of like either on the vile bug or the, or the vile crawl. But this thing right here, guys, is gonna make a great trailer for your uh, chatterbaits and stuff like that. You know, one of my favorite chatterbait trailers is the Twin Tail Menace from Strike King. And so this right here is gonna be the perfect substitution for that. I love Biospawn, so I'll probably stop using that Twin Tail Menace and start using these Exopods as long as they prove themselves out in the field. So we got a few specs on the packaging here. We can see that they're 3.5 inches. Uh, they've got a, a flanged kicking crawl. A narrow head for increased water flow and a jointed exoskeleton. So that exoskeleton design, I really think that's a big reason that uh, biospawn lures work so well around here. That exo stick for me is just hands down the best producer of bass that I use, period. I catch more fish on an exo stick than I do any other kind of lure around here in these waters. And I've never really been able to put my finger on why exactly that is but it's definitely, it's gotta have something to do with the design of the thing. Uh, it also says they're enhanced with the Biosynth and uh, the Biosynth is just this mixture of amino acids and whatnot. And uh, that could have something to do with it, I don't know. All right, but we've got some rigging options down here. It says you can Texas rig this, you can use it as a trailer, like I, like I talked about. Uh, use it on bladed jigs, that's exactly what I was thinking of doing. Uh, swim jigs, punch rigs, and ball head jigs. So. There's a variety of different things you can do with this. It's it's a versatile bait. And so this is gonna be great to add to the arsenal, guys. All right, we got some Excite Baits Raptor Tail Juniors in here. And I'm a little familiar with these because I did the little video uh, for this lure for this month. Um, they sent me a couple packs of these already. Uh, it says they're high floaters and yes, they do float. The front end of these things float really well. Uh, we did some test tank footage with this thing and the front end of this thing just stands straight up. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna produce a lot of great strikes for you guys man uh, I was really impressed with the way this thing acted in the water uh, says the color that we got here is green pumpkin tournament proven premium plastic lures and they're made in the USA fantastic um, excite baits guys I've been getting excite baits for the last couple of years from from these tackle services mystery tackle box especially I've, I've gotten several things from excite baits and I've liked everything that I've gotten from them so far. Um, you could call me kind of a soft plastic connoisseur. I use a ton of different soft plastics and uh, these things have had a permanent space in the arsenal uh, for a while now. See if there's any extra info on these bad boys on the back. No, there's not. And that's pretty much all you can say about it. I mean, it's it's a crawl lure. It's got several appendages on there. All right, you're gonna get good action out of those claws. They're gonna kick a little bit. Um, you get some good action out of that antenna that's up there on the head. It's just a really good looking lure, guys. It's gonna, it's gonna produce for y'all. All right, so I think that's the end of the soft plastics. All we've got left in here is the terminal tackle that we get every month. And this month, what we've got is some Mustad 4 aught Ultra Lock Light Soft Plastic Hooks. Another one of those things that I love about Mystery Tackle Box, they always try to include some kind of uh, terminal tackle in the box to get you up and running uh, right out of the box, so. Very cool. I've got tons of terminal that I've gotten from them over the last year, and uh, they've really helped me fill up my terminal box. So, love getting the terminal tackle. All right, y'all, so there you go. It was a great, solid box this month. There's a lot of variety in this box. You've got a couple of crankbaits. 
You've got a, a whopper plopper style bait. You've also got a spinner bait in there, a couple of bags of soft plastics and some terminal tackle to round everything out. It's, it's a great box. There's a, a lot of different stuff to try out. I think that's exactly why they included that little magazine on junk fishing because there's just so much variety in this box. So listen guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go down there and you hit that thumbs up button. Um, you guys liking this video helps me out tremendously where YouTube is concerned because the more likes that I get, the more these videos are gonna show up in search results. So that helps the channel out hugely. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down there, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that little bell notification. That's gonna let you guys know every time that I post a new video. Finally, y'all head down into the comments section. Let me know what your favorite bait was out of this month's box. Uh, if you have any comments on any individual baits, leave them down there. We can talk about that kind of stuff. I love interacting with you guys in the comments section. Uh, we're building a community here. And that's part of what I love about doing these YouTube videos is I get to interact with you guys and uh, we learn things from one another. Lastly, thank you all for watching these videos. We've grown this channel in a big, big way just over the last several months. I can't believe how quickly things have grown. I couldn't be happier about it. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking to build this channel into something special and you guys are, are helping me out with that in a big way. With that said, tight lines, and I'll see you guys next time.